Frenzy will come through with the collect, and now it's looking dangerous. He's gonna get the flip. Oh! <laughs> B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B that is well class. He's gonna leave it. But please, please get the nice little pump. Oh, brief flip from Lucky Luke! Huge match at hand. We're just about to kick off. Everyone's ready for this. They're all jumped in. And let's take us underway, Mr. Jupiter. Let's get going. First game of the ODL finals being brought to you. And it's going to be a kickoff win by Kruzza. And then Siva's going to take control. So a bit of back and forth play, but a nice 50 there by Siva. And already he looks to have a, a bit of control. Yeah, you know, just trying to commit early, you know, not sitting too deep. But we're already seeing Zuko trying to, you know, go for some mech plays here. Not usually uh, his forte when he plays with uh, his main roster, but it looks like he's got a bit of freedom now, and it's kind of working. He's got a chance to possibly glance this one in, but warning signs early now that Esper could score soon. Esper looked to have a little bit more control. They're definitely um, having a lot more possession on the ball, and we see even here, Rekre is getting past one. Can't, unfortunately, get it past the second, but the rotations coming through for Esper looking really good. There's an open net, even though he's whiffed it, but luckily, Zuko's there with the follow. Zuko saves his ass here. You thought maybe he might be hearing about this later on today, but otherwise still in the back of the net. That's all that really matters. And they've taken an early goal here uh, with not even a minute gone from the clock. Yeah, definitely want that early goal. That gives them a bit of a leg up in this match. They can kind of sit a little bit more comfortably because obviously with the first match, it is more of a feeler match to try to figure out how the opposition's going to play. We don't know if they've been scrimming um, in these weeks coming, so it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out as Rekres looks to take control but gets demoed. Yeah, we haven't really seen a sustained attack, you know, in this match yet from Evolution, so we're about to find out, are they, do they have anything in their arsenal to try and you know combat this early pressure in the you know defensive third because they're really under the pump now still they are and it seems like that's all because of the rotations of uh esper they're you know controlling the ball well they're really uh, aware of the rotations and when to cut but there seemed to be a nice little play there by sprite managers to clear most of the defense so for the first time we see esper on the back foot yeah hopefully they you know can keep them there because they're going to need it. Good pass down for Blip to Sprat, but Sprat doesn't get a powerful enough shot. Still in a decent position to maybe, you know, keep possession. A good back pass here will at least give them time to maybe, you know, link up a pass. That's what you would hope as a bit of back and forth play. We are seeing a bit of demo play coming out as well. So some early signs coming through, but it's the control that I like from Esper where they're actually managing to get those first and second touches. And that's keeping the ball away from this evolution team. And that's very, very evident on the amount of shots they've had, but a nice save there by Zuko. So there is a bit of early warning signs there, but it still seems the control goes Esper's way. And oh, yeah. Zuko, he's having a good day today already. And he's just got himself a second goal here. Defense was maybe a little bit lackluster here after Blip, you know, sort of overshot that. Sprat didn't realize that was going to happen. Ends up, you know, coming straight from defense to offense and scoring, you know, right away. So the issue there with Blip was he did that half jump commit where he thought that he might be able to get it. But I don't know if the miscommunication came through, but that half jump meant that Sprat could not commit because he would have possibly got the block as well. So a bit of miscommunication and poor decision making leading to a second goal. Yeah, but the warning signs are very early here for Evolve, even though they, you know, with having some attack like now, but it, it's still, they feel like they're just a little bit out of it at the moment. They're going to have to, you know, think about, you know, maybe trying to press high with some of these contests because they're leaving a lot of room in the midfield. That's exactly right. You want to try and control the ball as much as possible and really stifle out the possession from this Esper team who are doing really well avoiding all the demos and bumps. Siva doing a massive amount of work there to get the ball into the forward line for his team and he's going to let Zuko take control and hopefully go for a pass. Yeah, he tried to get in a good area, but it still might set up for him. Siva's put it right for a possible waterfall drop. No, it isn't, but Sprat is there to read. Now Kruzer having a chance to go up, but decides let's get in the ground first, to save some boost, try and get it into the midfield. Doesn't work, and that's just an easy clear there for Esper. And they might be able to have another shot here. It's actually, no, it is not going to happen with Kruzer putting it across the face from Blue. 
One thing I'm noticing that Esper's doing quite well is they're allowing that first touch by Evolution to come through, and then they're setting up for the second touch where they're trying to clear that halfway mark. You see there. Oh, Ooh. actually, Flip's done a good job. Wow, what a solo play. I didn't think he had a dribble in him, but jeez, he has. Here he goes. Goes for that handbrake. Flicks over one. Doinks over the second. That's as good as you're going to see from a dribble play in this series. I was just about to say that the way Esper set up is that they allow for that first touch, go for the second touch block, and then counter-attack, but Blips just cleared them all in one, and that's how effective the solo dribble can be. If you can get past those two defenders, it seems like Esper are willing to overcommit for the counter-attack. Yeah, it seems like that is the case today, but they're going to sit a little bit deeper now. See, that's not exactly what they were doing before, with Zuko being way too far back. Ends up just letting an easy ball get pumped in their own defense, but oh my god, the control from Siva is fantastic there. I'm shaking my head at how good he is at controlling that ball. That first touch was amazing. It really slowed down the play and gave Esper a lot more control. And Zuko is looking to do the same, forcing out some boost from the opposition as Siva comes through with the dunk. Can anyone get there? Yes! Blip is there with the save. Anyway, it's still in the wrong end of the field. If uh, they want to get in this game, Evolution, now Sprack going to show us, can he do some uh, dribbles himself? No, he can't, but Steve has read that pass from, uh, you know, the play quite easily. Now down the 30 seconds, they're going to have to make it work right now. That's it. As we can see, a nice mid-line challenge there. Blip taking a touch, but it's gone straight to Siva, who's put it on net. He's going to try and force out a bump by Sprat, but Sprat's done well to avoid the contact and made the challenge go in his favor. Krasin now putting it on the oh. back. What Sprat is up. He goes for the redirect, but can't quite connect. Oh, I thought he was going to come out clutch there, but still, he's got 10 seconds. A good ball in the midfield, but Krasin's committed too hard for that front post. If he went back post, it was probably a goal here. You know, Blip's putting it in the midfield. It's probably going to be a goal going in the opposite end for Esper. And Esper now take game one in the best of five. That was really good early control from Esper. They took control of the field. They really worked on their rotations as well. And Zuko and Siva just putting in amazing work uh, to, to link up quite well and create those scoring opportunities. But as I was saying, it's really that midline control. They're allowing Evolution to get that touch on the back line. And then they're setting up for that wall. They're almost blocking their chances of moving the ball forward. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Esper, you know, having those wide flanks really locked, but forcing them to go through the midfield. And that's where their, their, their only goal did come from for Evolution was a, a solo play. And that might be the only way to get through this defense the way it's structured at the moment. So Esper are going to be very happy with the way they performed in game one. And it's something that they can bring in the game to and, you know, should have, you know, success with as well. I agree. And I think that with the Evolution team, there is the potential for some solo players. Like we've seen one from Blip already. Kruzza and Sprat definitely both can pop off if given the time and space. So they've got to try and create that for themselves. If they can give themselves time to set up for a counter-attack, then they're going to do well. Anyway, Zuka's put it very awkwardly in defense to hit the corner there. Puts them in a little bit of danger. They've kind of averted that, which, you know, it was something that could have been very scary for Esper. And they've been very sloppy early. Now this is time for Evolution to, you know, maybe, you know, mop up some of this mess. That's what you hope is. Oh, the fake by Rekos is beautiful. Just did enough to get past that attack there by Sprat. So a good start, a good transition for Esper. But now it's going to be Evolution on the return. Blip with the solo again. Oh. The bump coming through. What so so with the save. Oh, my God. Oh my lordy, what have I just witnessed there from Zuko? He was going to get bumped, decided to drive completely up his own roof there, saves it. Oh, that's a clutch save if I've ever seen it. And that's where the squishy save can be so useful. That going in the goal line, going up the wall and coming out of the top of the goals can be so effective if you practice it well. And Zuko has done exactly that. And he's come through now with a touch. It almost beats out Blip and sets up for another attack. But they shouldn't drop their heads here, Evolution. They've really got them on the ropes now. They're going to have to try and make it work. But, jeez, they're, they're making it hard work out of this corner with three men going straight in there to try and clear this. Leaving Zuko time. Decides to go in the corner, take the boost instead. Siva's there. Decides not to rotate. Leaves it for Rex, but it's not working. And now maybe a little breathing space for both teams interesting game in comparison to the first one the first one felt way more controlled than this second one it seems very very dynamic very back and forth as teams are getting heavy touches and forcing out mistakes from the opposition no one really taking advantage of it just yet but with the way this gameplay is going to work i feel like there is going to be an opportunity soon 
Oh yeah, it has to be, you know, they've, they've let the opportunity slip now, Evolve Down. It's looking like Esper's starting to maybe take control, but not with whiffs like that. Now leaves Crosser a decent chance to pass it across for Blip. Blip wasn't there. Now Zuko's got a 1v1 against Blip. Can he get the flick over? No, he can't. It's still dropping in a dangerous area, but Crosser's put it on the sidewall and probably might retrieve it himself. I've been happy with the performance of Blip. He's definitely stepped up for his team with that solo goal and on the defensive line as well. So he might be the person to keep an eye out for for Evolution as he gets another block there. This time not as advantageous as the one previously. So an open opportunity there. Recrez uh -huh. leaving that really late, but still gets the save. He knew what he was doing, but we didn't know that. And I was getting a little bit cautious when that ball was getting very close to the net. Now leaving a chance to receive. Oh my god, what a pop! What an air drag! Trying to get around Blip. It's put it in a good area, forcing him to save gently out. But they've somehow been able to get out of this danger once again. Sprat has a chance to pass in the midfield, but they are not linking any passes in the last half of this game. It's really interesting because normally when we see these high tier games, the offensive players are always what we see most often. But now we're seeing a huge amount of defensive plays. Both teams are coming through quite strong and no one really having a scoring opportunity. Yeah, it looks like yeah, no team's really, you know, committed to put that third man up just yet. They're quite happy to sit deep and just try and, you know, defend this game out. And this is reflecting on the scoreline with a 0-0 uh you know score here we're gonna have to find out who's gonna take the gamble before it gets to overtime oh that's very very awkward rec raise and zuka commit and definitely should lead to a goal and does through sprat you see a bit of miscommunication here rec raise forcing that half flip where he should have just rotated back post and left it to zuko so a bit unfortunate there but that means that evolution take the first here we go. Now they've got their heads up here. They can go back and play that defensive style and probably, you know, try and win this game out. But oh, I'm expecting to see Esper now going hot like they were in the first minute of game one with high aerials happening here from Wreckers, putting it straight to Siva. Siva's going to try and find Zuko across field. Decides not to go. Now Sprat, gentle touch for himself, tries to keep possession. Only for Zuko to pop of the Wreckers. Wreckers going to hit the back ball, but it's not a good hit from him. Not indeed, and that means that Esper do have to kind of be patient on their offensive plays, but that allows Evolution to come through. They definitely will be feeling confident as this time dwindles down. We're almost at the final minute of this game number two as Siva takes a touchdown to Zuko. Oh. Beautiful dish! He can't plan it any better. Oh, that's going to be one of the best passes I've seen today. Look at this. He knew exactly where he is. He hits it backwards. Unbelievable pass for Zuko. He loves to be receiving passes like that every day of the week. Oh man, it's just, it's awesome to see the, the team synergy, the link ups coming through from these players. It's always very, very exciting. And it means that Esper now come back into this match as 1-1 one, one with under a minute to go. They will be feeling a lot, a slightly more confident as this game progresses. Yeah, here we go. Now, Esper seems like they're playing with a bit of pace now. Evo are just trying to clear it every chance they can get. Double on the line there, leaving Wreckers a chance. Ends up leaving the ball for Siva. Siva's going to be outpaced here. No, he doesn't. Ends up winning that 50. Oh, there was only a half a ball distance away from slotting in that top corner. Almost a great opportunity there for Siva because he had to read the touch. He couldn't read the bounce on the wall because he would have been beaten. So he's done a fantastic job there. Shot coming through by Blib does get blocked out and Recrez will take control of the ball now. He should be able to get a second touch. No, Sprat. He's done enough to get the ball forward. He puts it up. The Siva's there on the back line. Anyway, here they go. They might be able to sneak something in the last second. Oh, goes for a bottom corner shot. Nearly catches both. Goalkeeper's off guard, it's still high in the air. Wreckers is the only one up to fly. Leaves it for Siva. Siva can actually get an exit here if they decide to. Zuko just wants to sit back in goals and try and save this one out. Comes out at an awkward time, leaving Kreiser to hit the backboard. Siva gets a gentle touch. Blip can actually carry this. He's going up the wall. Don't tell me he's going to find a pass here. It gets cleared out to the midfield, and that'll go to overtime. A nice choice there by Kreiser just to hit the ball down. If he did decide to try and catch it, it would have popped up for Esper, and that would have been an open goal. So good decision-making coming out from the Evolution team. And now we have our first overtime. Yeah, I didn't haven't seen an overtime yet today in my other stream, so it's good to see you know a bit of the pressure happening now with Kreiser going for a long clear, but no one's there to receive. Good communication there for Siva to call out that and instead of having Zuko hitting it awkwardly. Wrecker's going to have to be careful here. Let's the ball go underneath him from Sprat. Blip's going to the corner now. Blip's trying to get it across the face, but doesn't work. And now Wrecker's going to have to try and connect, uh, catch this ball and pass, but doesn't make it work. And it's getting a bit sloppy on the Esper end now. 
Yeah, they definitely are feeling the pressure. We're seeing a lot of time and space given to the Evolution team. They can set up some really good plays when they've got that time and space. You see Zuko on the back wall forcing a touch. That miss is going to be an open net. The overcommit, oh. no, crossbar down. That could have been it. Oh, they've caught them napping and they have not punished. Unbelievable. Anyway, big whiff on the line. It has a double commit, but they've still got a chance here, Evolution. They've got them on the back foot. Zuko tries to clear the cross. The cross are going to have to be looking for a pass. Pass up for Sprat. The Sprat Marito's backboard. Yes, he does, but doesn't get it in the goal. But still, it's going in. Surely this time, Blimp has scored and have taken it. Now to a one-all in the series. We can't have that many cross pie downs without one finally going in, and that's going to be Blip. One thing that I want to kind of point out with this uh, Esper side is offensively, they do really well, but defensively, I'm not sure if it's a bit of nerves or something else, but there's definitely been some double commits and miscommunication, particularly between Rekres and Zuko. I find them double committing for the same play, and that's leaving them mm. really exposed at the moment. Oh, yeah, 100% here. Yeah. It's just... Uh, it's just amazing they changed the mentality, you know, mid-game where they're just not keeping with the same, you know, structure that had been working. They're sort of just, you know, second-guessing themselves, and that's when you can, you know, lead yourself into danger. Yeah, exactly. When you second-guess, when you hesitate, it really forces out some weird rotations from your teammate, and then they feel like that you're awkward, and they'll have to overcommit for those plays. So you need to just, you know, back yourself, make sure you're rotating efficiently, make sure everything's kind of falling into place, because... Those minute mistakes, the the times where you half commit into a play or you go up and then you pull out, is where the, you get exposed the most. Well, about to find out, will uh, Evolution have some you know confidence coming in the game three here? They they really showed to be the better team in that overtime, and will they continue this play? They're trying to find the passes, some awkward hits, but. Esper once again playing uncharacteristically, sitting very deep in goals. And it's that pressure that Evolution have been able to create. They have been giving themselves time and space. They're putting the ball in very awkward situations and causing out the mistakes. But that's a good opportunity. Rekres doesn't miss those. And he gets the first. That's a tight angle pinch there and an absolute straight counter attack. The first attack results in a goal. Maybe overconfident there. But Rekres, that's, that's clinical shot there. That's not very easy to do. It is not. I, it's one of those um, shots in the training pack that, um, that you see quite often where you have to try and get that tight angle and you want to try and read it as best as possible. Oh, Ooh, that angle as well would have been very nice, but not as good as what Rekres was able to pull off just earlier. Nah, just, it just didn't work for them, but still, they've got possession. They're still, it's in their hands, this game, if they want to make it work. And Blip is put in the top corner. Oh, my God. Zuko's coming out. No one saved that. Oh, my God. Siva saved another one. And it's hanging off a deal live here with two bang shots having to be saved from top class uh, keepers. Uh, Esper doing a scramble job on defense, allowing Evolution to come through with all this sustained attack. They're not really clearing the ball, and that's allowing Evolution to come through. And I'm just briefly going to take this time. Hashtag ODL finals in the channel if you want to win some points, but the action does continue. Yes, it does. It never stops here at ODL with, uh, you know, finals day today. Anyway, a little bit of a weird hit into each other there. Maybe might possibly have that counter-attack working again for them. Zuko's going to try and win that 50. Pinches right out. Leaving Siva actually a fair bit of time to decide what he wants to do. Pops it on the backboard. Sprat's there to receive. Decides to play it slow and gets a great DU clear. One of the best we've seen today. And now they're going straight to their attack at the other end. With Sprat coming through here, he can score with a bouncing shot. Yes, he can. Evolution doing so well in game three. That EU clear can be so powerful, and Rekres, unfortunately, not getting the touch he wants. He's really feeling... You can see the way he's playing the ball is very, very awkward. He's trying to get into a good position to get the clear, but the ball's just not being read the way he's thinking, and that's leaving him in some awkward situations, and that's allowing Evolution to come through. Oh, it really is at the moment, and, you know, it's just changed the complexity of the series at the moment. Unless Zuka can do something really nutty here... Evolution is starting to look the goods now. Anyway, they oh, sorry, go on, my friend. <laughs> I was just going to say they are looking the goods. They're feeling confident. They're challenging really well, and they're giving their team time and space to go for a shot just like that. Sprat with a beautiful banger. This time, Rekres is able to get the read. No sidewall hit there. Leaves Sprat time to have a shot. It ends up in the backboard and just doesn't work. And I don't know why Zuko's here, but he's doing something. It's actually a decent pass there for Siva on the back. Post nearly works, but very unorthodox play there. 
It was very unorthodox, but luckily Zuko was able to create something out of nothing. He's going to try and do the same waterfall down. No one from his team is there, but Steven now coming through with a nice touch, but with no power behind it, should easily get saved. Zuko going for the double, gets the ground pinch, but oh, oh no, that is not the touch that you want. Can they block it? Oh, thankfully, they do. Jeez, that was an awkward little hit there. Nearly put them in some really big danger. But anyway, Sprat's going to have to take that boost, and he doesn't commit there, leaving his goalkeeper to force a save, but it's going to work out, because now he has plenty of boost to go for the 50. Can win another one. It's high up in the air, coming off the roof. Zuko saving his flip, ends up going for a catch here. Grabs the boost on the sidewall. Now he's making something really work for himself. He can get a touch down here. He's got players ready to receive. It hasn't gone in the right area, but now we're down to a minute 40, and it's getting into a crunch time. It's getting very scary with 100 seconds left on the clock. Siva coming through! Oh, just as we say with the banger and Esper retake the lead. Jeez, let's have a quick look at this one. A gentle touch out from Kruzzo only leaves Siva for an absolute commit. And that's a bit of mentality when you're doing that. When you're going for commits that close to goal like that, that's what you want to see. You want to give them no time to breathe because that was what was letting them into this match was leaving them have all that midfield possession. That's exactly right. Having time and space on the ball is what evolution crave at the moment. Sprat especially needs a lot of time and space on the ball to set something up. Although Cross has done well to get the ball infield. Unfortunately, no one from Evolution there to capitalize. Blip now trying to make the ball move forward, but can't. And for now, they are able to lock the ball in the orange side, but it's whether they can sustain the attack for the last minute. That will be the question. Ooh. That was a good little play there, but the ball had no momentum, so they couldn't really make it work. Now it's got a waterfall down here. Oh. This isn't a bad area. Oh, if Krozer touched that, it wasn't going to be very good. But Blip bows him out for jail here. You know, Blip's going to have to try and go over the top with no boost. Now he's just going to have to go for a demo in goals. Tries and get anyone. Krozer puts it high for Sprat. It's a little bit too far, but Blip has done that half rotation in the corner. Now he's in a good area. Puts it on the roof. Krozer going for the backboard. Going for the double touch. Oh my god, what a goal from him! Ooh, that was spicy. I like the communication from Evolution. That was obviously a call from Blip to leave the ball by Sprat. So he's able to take control of it in the corner and sustain that attack. Beautiful double touch as well by Krause. I can't discount that at all, but it's that communication that really set up that play. Oh man, it really did. And now it's gone straight back up the other end. They're going to have to be careful here. Zuko getting a decent save here. Blip putting it gently into the corner. Not the hit he really wants, but Sprat's coming in for an overcommit here. He wants to commit again. He's forcing the ball forward. Now they got a yoink it. Oh no, he's hit the parallel and it hasn't gone in. Uh, the woodwork is not their friend at the moment. They twice have hit the woodwork and it's bounced out. This time, almost being a shot opportunity, but Siva does manage to get a save. I don't think he has a lot of boost, so he'll go to clear the ball. And he'll just wait for a heavy touch, and Blip does give him the heavy touch. He gets the bump. This could be the opportunity for Esper, but they have to play it cleanly, and unfortunately, they're not able to. Kruz is able to move the ball all the way across. Two seconds, now one. The ball should hit the ground, and that will be our second overtime. Anyway, we're going into overtime once again. Two games in a row now. And it's a good kickoff here. Sprat's already up early. He's going to hit the backboard. Is the third man committing? It's actually been a bit of an awkward hit, but they somehow read that. Blip does well here. Blip's going to get a second touch. Only gets dunked by Rekas. Oh. Rekas got a 1v1 now. He's going to try and fake out Sprat. Sprat doesn't fall for the fake. Sprat's going for a second save. Well done here. Now Zuko going up high on the wall. Hits it forward. Going for a second touch, possibly with Sprat having to hit into the corner. Siva coming through hard, hitting the backboard. Who's there? The crunch on this. It's in a good area. Zuko! Oh, it has not gone in, and it somehow saved themselves on the line here the crossbar down is not in favor of anybody at the moment and that's definitely not what you want to see as these uh, amazing players coming out of esper they're controlling the ball so well but we hope that they don't overcommit at this point because they if they do overcommit it will be very very dangerous as that ball should waterfall down Siva's there for the catch but cruz is there with the save Yes, he's there, but they're still alive to the danger now with Sprat hitting it straight up for the waterfall in the corner. Comes straight back down for himself. He has a chance. Hits the backboard. Who's coming through? No one is. They're all shadowing in defense. Only allows them to possibly give the attacking uh, pressure back to Esper, but they're somehow mounting it themselves. I don't know how Evolution haven't been able to transition a little bit more cleanly. They definitely have the time and space, but they're just being blocked out by Esper at the moment. That's giving him no scoring opportunities. Oh, it really is not giving him anything to work with now. You have to be careful. Esper, gonna have to go forward here. Just, he's sort of half deciding. He doesn't want to go on sidewall. Sprat ends up playing it very smart there to go through the midfield, knowing that the player was on the sidewall, leaving it 
to go straight up the other end. Now, Kruzer thinking about going to commit for that. Doesn't commit very well. Rogan's going straight through here. Spratt's going to have to gentle touch for himself. But, geez, he's playing very smart today, Spratt. Really buying his team time when needed. He's done a good job there because that could have been a very easy counterattack. Blip getting blocked out, but not strong enough. The Dominus leading to the charge, and that is going to be Kruzer taking the win. Overtime again goes in the favor of Evolution here. Oh, Zuko does all he can to try and save it. And he still keeps it in front of the net. And who comes through? Kaiser for a tap in of his life. Jeez, what a turnaround. It was all Esper's favor. That first shot by Zuko, the crossbar down that we thought should and definitely could have gone in, not paying dividends. And it's going to be Evolution capitalizing. And they take a 2-1 series lead. Oh, jeez, they do as well. And... It's now warning signs for Esper that maybe it's not working for them. I believe that was early, but, you know, they're, they're letting, you know, Evolution have too much room to set up these plays, and they're just getting caught off guard time and time again, and I'm not sure what is the winning formula for them now. I feel like the winning formula is Siva and Zuko. Their passing plays is what's keeping him in. I feel like if they're able to execute those passing plays effectively, that's going to be the biggest chance for them. And then they just have to turtle up on defense. They have to play as cleanly as possible. When they start to be a bit more hyper-aggressive and they're allowing um, some more free and easy options available, that's when they're getting capitalized on. Yeah, well, there we go. We have to find out, will your strategy work for them or will it not? It's no time to second guess. They're going to have to either go with what they believe and see if it works because now they're in a you know a bit of a danger here of going down to the lower brackets. They are, and that's the risk at the moment in this upper bracket final. It's not so much an upper bracket final, but moving through the upper bracket is if you lose, you go down the lower bracket, and then you've got no more chances. At least if you get a win here, you give yourself a little bit more options moving forward. Yeah, that's exactly right. Anyway, blip going high in the air, and he leaves it for Wreckers. Wreckers trying to put this ball down, but Kruz is in the corner. Zuko's put it up in a good area. He's trying to read it himself. Oh, he just has not been able to go on the, the final end of some of these hits later in the series. That unfortunately not, and that's allowing Evolution to come through and keep up the sustained attack. A team pinch working out quite well. Kruzer, unfortunately, not getting the read. He gets a touch. Oh! What a save! How does he keep that one out? I've never seen a backflip save so deep in the goals, but it's working. Now they can go for their own attack here. He's got the ball. He's put it straight on the roof. It's coming down in Zuko in the corner. He's going to go try and commit on. Sprat! Oh, my God. It's so powerful, but thank God they had two goalies in the box to save that one. And this is where Esper need to commit on the attack. They're forcing out a couple of double commits, and it's working out in their favor. But now they've given all that time and space back to Evolution. That's not what you want to see. You want them to really capitalize on their opportunities. And it's actually going to be Kruzan now trying to look for a nice little play. Demo by Recres will open up some opportunities, forcing out a bit of an awkward rotation out of Evolution. But they're able to sustain themselves on defense. Yeah, ball high in the backboard now. Gonna have to be careful here, Kruzer. Decentish clear, but only gets met out by Wreckers in the corner. Siva now is putting it in a good area. Zuko decides not to commit because it's probably a bit too close to the goal, leaving Kruzer a chance to really continue his play. He's gonna go try and dance his way into the midfield here. And now we're finding evolution all on the back foot having the retreat. Yeah, nice little control there by Kruzer, but unfortunately can't break the Esper defense just yet. And now Recres in an awkward opportunity. It does do well, manages to get a pass back, gets a second touch, puts it on the backward, forces out a touch there as well. And that's going to mean some opportunities for Esper. Siva, no! Almost the opportunity, but Recres coming through gets saved as well. All right, Esper finally starting to you know, mount a good offense here. They're, they're keeping it in a good area. Siva, if only could get a gentle touch across the face there. He had teammates waiting. It's still going to be in their favor here. Blip's going to have to try and slow flick this one out. Only gives it to Siva. Good bump on the line. Siva goes for a top corner shot, but Kruzer saves it on the line. And it, the danger is real now for Evolution. It is as the shot comes through. Almost there. Uh, almost coming through with an opportunity, but Espa should be able to sustain the attack now. Rekres, unfortunately, not getting a nose to that, and that's going to give some time and space to Evolution. And Sprat, in particular, is not the person you want to give it to. Kruzer, he'll look to take a touch forward. He'll look to control this ball, but Siva gets the read, and now Evolution should be on the, the back foot as Esper come through. 
Here we go. It's, it's starting off like a clinical game for Esper where they always have control, but they're going to have to be careful because when it gets to the dying minutes, it seems like the mentality slips a little bit and will leave opportunities for Evolution to come back in. Now, it's going to have to be a flying V to go forward. No, it isn't. If Wreckers has a chance, he goes for a flip reset. Goes for a pass on the backboard. Is anyone coming through? Blip's the only one there to save it. Siva's in the corner trying to smack it straight across the face. Doesn't work. And now both teams are very happy to give possession to both. It's a bit of desperation coming out of Esper as they realize that this is the last opportunity they have. If they lose this match, they will be going down to the loser's bracket as Evolution already have two series points of this best of five. So everything on the line for this Esper team as Rec Race tries to take control, tries to go for the 50, but Cruzzer beats him out. And now they're on the counter attack. Oh my god, Kraza tries to go over that 50 across the face, only leaving Sprat a chance to go on the roof. Sprat! Oh my god, what's he doing? Going for a 50 in the air. Kraza's up there, going for the backboards. Only Gentle leaves it for Wreckers to put it in the corner. Nearly a rule one happening there. Doesn't quite happen. Now Siva in the corner, having to try to get this one out. It's a minute left. There's not much time left. They're all very cautious here. They're all very careful of coming out of their own goal line to try and work this. Zuko, smart play to go for the midfield here, but doesn't win it in the 50. Only leaves it for Blip. Blip pops it up for Sprat. Sprat's going to hit into the corner. He's the third man there. No, they're not. Now it's a counterattack. Esper hit it forward. Kraus is going to hit it into the corner. Breckers is there. Goes in. Comes in a good area of the face of the goal, but no one's there. And it's, geez, it's starting to get hot. It's very hard. Both teams not looking to hold on to the possession for too long, and that's not creating any opportunities. Luckily, Siva gets a boost grab there, so it will slow the attack down for Evolution for the time being. Zuko looking to set something up. Gets a bit of an awkward touch, but he should be able to get it down to his teammate, Recrez, putting it into the corner. Can he set it up? No, it gets red straight away, and that's forcing Evolution to make some real close rotations. Anyway, 10 seconds left. It's a great day you clear straight up down the end. Kruzzo, you got to have to get on this ball. It's a weak clear here. Blip can find Sprat. Sprat's there. Zuko cuts it out of the midfield. Is it going to go in for the clock? Oh, yes, it does. Zuko scores. He's leveled it up. What a snipe. I honestly didn't even see him coming in that angle. I thought Sprat 100% had that goal, but that clutch decision-making, that decision to cut the ball there is... Esper's saving grace. They're able to take the lead with one second remaining. Anyway, surely this ball will hit the ground. Zuko makes clean work for it, possibly even another goal. And we are going to a game five for the first series of today. And it is a classic so far. Oh, what a match. Going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. These teams are so evenly matched. It's unreal. And Esper there just getting the benefit of the doubt with that play by Zuko. He's been the major scorer on this Esper team. When he is looking good, when he is making the plays, it seems like Esper do prevail. So he'll be the one to keep an eye out for in this game number five. But now we're down to the wire. There's only one match remaining. Yes, I'll, I'll be with you with that statement there of Zuko. He's the one that's been shining. When they were doing well early, it was him that was you know, on the receiving end of scoring most of these goals. So they're going to be looking for him to come out clutch, I think, in game five, because that's what they're going to need. Because Evolution, we're looking pretty decent today. But again, mentality changes when it becomes game five, and it's any man's game. That's it. It's where the nerves really get tested, where, you know, boys become men, almost, so, so to speak, because mm -hmm. this is where you need to hold your nerve, you need to play cleanly, and you need to get this win. Oh, you, you need it. This is huge. To go for the upper bracket, it gives you a one-game uh, chance before you make the upper finals there, so they're going to have to make sure they win this anyway. Blip in the corner doesn't win that. These are records. Sam has come through the score an early goal! Wow, what a commit. Rec Res there had the touch, and then you just see him fake that second one for Siva. Beautiful team communication there, and that is a very early goal. Yeah, it's, it's what they were looking for, Esper, here. Uh, will they go in the defensive structure, or are they going to continue to play? I'm expecting a bit more defense from them. It seems like they're what they've been happy with. But Sprat had a chance to have an open shot here. Good bump out now. Leaves it for a good pass. Or blip, blip. Ooh, does not commit for that. Was thinking about it. But geez, it's still in a good area. Sprat passes it down. Doesn't work out. And now Zuko's going for some mech here, but gets outpaced by Blip. That's the hardest thing in that situation for Blip. Having both your teammates already committed to the play in that ball spilling middle. If you get 50 and you lose, it's an automatic goal. So very, very calculated play coming from Blip. Decided to not concede the goal for the chance just to make sure that they don't leak anything else. 
Exactly right. He knows better chances will come later in this match, so let's not do it now. Oh, oh my goodness! What is that? Oh. What a play. What a first touch here by Rekres. And the read as well. Oh my god. Esper are looking the goods right now. Oh. I couldn't believe that was an attacking play there from the position he was in. It took me a second to recalculate my thoughts, and it was going all the way in. And now they've got a two goal lead. No, Sprat, not like this. Oh, he's converted danger. That could have quite possibly been game over. Oh, man, that could have definitely been the nail in the coffin. Luckily, they've only leaked two goals so far, and there is quite a lot of time remaining. Three minutes and 43 seconds still, but now Rekres will be feeling so confident. He took a little while to open up in the f opening couple of matches, but now he should definitely be feeling himself with this. Oh, squishy save, not quite working out this time, and Blip gets a counterattack. Here we go, Blip comes straight for you. Decent pass there from Sprat, good 50 from Krozer. Only forces Blip to good read there from the waterfall as well. It understands that it's going to come down slowly. Holds up his aerial, and he gets a gentle tap in with a help from Sprat there, possibly getting a bump. The hardest thing about Rekres in that position, if Sprat didn't commit to chasing him down in the goal line there, he could have timed that a lot better and got the save. The fact that Sprat was chasing him in the goal line allowed them to kind of go for a bit more of a rush play and open up that opportunity. We see Sprat again going for that same play, this time getting a demo. So they're not afraid to push forward, which is good science for evolution. Yes, it very much is. It might leave some openings for them to be had. Anyway, spread high up in the air, tries to pass. It's actually in a good area for Blip. Blip is just a little bit too close on the front post to be able to receive that pass, but puts in a pass for himself with no one really committing now. They're still waiting for those better opportunities, it looks like, here, Evolution. They don't want to try and force this win too early. They don't. If they do try and force out too many offensive plays, as I was saying with the previous one with Blip, if you commit too early, that if you lose the 50-50, it's an open net. So you want to play patient, you want to play calculated, and you want to make sure you give your team an opportunity. Yeah, and they're doing that now, and they're getting a sniff if he can come through. Cross that. Oh, it's open. He hasn't. Oh, my God, Silver, what are you doing? It's still in. Silver stays alone. Oh, jeez, they're hanging on for dear life, Esper. Oh, the nerves of steel coming out of Siva, trying to play it into his own goalpost, but he's able to get the save, and Esper get a bit of a lifeline there. That could have been super dangerous. Zuko getting a save there as well. The pressure is all oh. on them, but that one clear, like I said, the one overcommit, and you will be punished, and this time it comes from Refres. Oh, it hurts to play Rocket League sometimes. They're trying to make those attacking plays work, but Refres has read the pass every day of the week. He knew he was going to go infield. And now they've taken a two-goal lead with two minutes in Game 5. Sure, you would think it would be enough, but if Evolution have anything to say for it, it is not. Definitely not, especially if you give time and space like Blip has now. You should be doing, ah, oh, he's made a crucial mistake. He's gone for the long clear when they had control of the ball. Hopefully, it isn't a crucial mistake as time is getting down to those final two minutes. Zuko, nice little control there in the midfield, but it will get met by an Evolution member straight away. And now they're on the counter attack. It is going back and forth, but only for the moment. Anyway, big hit up there from Zuko. Going to try and drop straight down the sides. Not to overcommit here. Good little tap from Kruzer. Now maybe can set it up for his team in Blip Blip. Trying to hit it up, but it only goes in the corner. Leaving Zuko plenty of time to get a big clear here. He's going to yoink that boost and go retreating straight back. Now, a minute 20. Only sets up for Siva. Siva might play this slow here. Oh, yes, he has. And he's done well. And he's kept the ball in the corner for his team. That was a good decision there, trying to go for the low 50 to just buy out a bit, of more, bit more time and also waste a bit of boost as well. The more time they can waste in this position, the better because they have a two-goal lead. And again, Siva going for the bump play, can't quite connect, but Rek is coming through and with a crucial goal, that could be the nail in the coffin. And that's actually a hat-trick as well for Rekres. Yeah, he's had a stellar performance in Game 5. Absolute clanger, and it's never getting saved there. And now it looks like Espa have now got their foot in the door of the finals. They definitely do. That goal by Rekker is just lifting the confidence of Espa, and they have not looked worse since that point. A nice shot there. Kruzer getting a save as well there as Siva, but putting the pressure on is going to be blip for Evolution. They are still trying to get themselves in, and there's definitely still time, but they need to score quickly and efficiently as possible because this time is ticking down, and it will not stop. No, it will not stop now. 
40 seconds. Zuko just playing it slow, playing it smart, methodical. And that's how they need to play now, Esper. Not to make any silly mistakes here, but if they could score right now, you thought maybe something might open up for them. But it's not looking good. It's 20 seconds on the clock, and Esper are just waiting for the time. That's it. All I've got to do now is turtle up, play defensively. Don't go for anything too dangerous because you have it in the bag. But Evolution are still going to try and go for something. Blip, getting the ball down. Koza linking up as well. If they committed to that, that could have been a goal opportunity. But again, you don't want to overcommit too far. Three seconds. Now one second, three goals. That will be GG for Esper. They move through and we'll be seeing Evolution in the lower bracket. And there we go. It hasn't worked out for them for Evolution, but Esper B have had a great performance today. They started high.